Before we went to break, we saw Landon Castle slide way up the racetrack. He may have gotten into something that cut a tire because he ends up in the, down on the wall and turns one and two, bringing out the first caution at lap 30. That's what we're talking about, Mike, when he was up there. All that loose stuff, debris and everything, probably cut a right front. Chevrolet, the official vehicle of NASCAR, is the most awarded car company three years in a row. Learn more at Chevrolet.com. Caution out at lap 50. Iowa driver Landon Castle with a right front problem. A big one this time. Finds his way into the wall for the second time. Well, third time, second caution. Pow. Wow. Yeah. This a back end stepped out, and when he tried to correct, it shot right straight in the wall. Did a lot of damage to the car this time. I've heard a lot of drivers talking about how edgy the cars are, but they also say that they're that up top there where it's gray. Normally that's clean pavement and there's a little more grip, but he stepped right over it and they've said this weekend there's no grip. Push will be on the crash clock. Five minutes to get back up to minimum speed. And caution is out for Corey LaJoy. He's got the wall up in turn number four. That's the seventh yellow flag at lap 137. The Joy had a string of good races. His first five races, his average finished 33rd and a half. His last five races, he brought that average up to 27th and uh, showing a good bit of improvement. But now he brings out the caution flag at lap 137. What a real unfortunate break for the four of Harvick going a lap down after pitting under green. And Danica going after teammate Clint Boyer for 11th. Yellow man, yellow. Turn yellow, two. Yellow. Greg Galding, the rookie, trailing a lot of smoke to turn two. Eighth caution flag, lap 148. Got a lot of damage on the right side, I think, when we see the side of it. For that maroon car of gold. Right there. there. Yeah. That's one I won't forget. Turn one, trouble. Two cars in the wall. Paul Menard with A.J. Allmendinger. And caution is out at lap 194. And you're going to see them in the upper right corner. Wow. Already. Yeah. When I this when I looked at this one I saw they were hooked together and I, I'm not sure how they got that way but they were definitely running they were definitely run into each other. <laughs> sure if Almendinger had some of that damage from earlier and you can see the left a full head of steam but the bumper of Blaney and the right side of Kyle Busch's car was uh, in his way. Getting crowded up there at the front right now with the 42. Oh, Whoa, trouble. Big, big, big trouble. crash. Danica Patrick and Joey Logano. Oh, man. And Eric Eric Alvaro. Alvaro. Holy smoly. Yeah, heavy, heavy damage there on Danica. Those, those cars are killed. And Almarola piling in at the last second and going up in the air. Patrick Danica's quickly out. out of her car. Oh man, it looked like oh. the 22 just got loose. I think yeah. that. Oh man, what an what a ride that Danica went Danica on. Danica took a heck of a ride into the, the wall, and then the just, 43 just plowed in there. Yeah, he had nowhere to go. I think he committed to the outside lane. Pretty big impact by the 43, as you could see. Almirola sitting in his car. He hadn't quite gotten out of the car yet. Eric Jones right behind them, right behind Logano. Oh, something wow, broke. something happened yeah. on that 22. Something had to break. Keep coming here. There you go. 22 violently turned left right into Danica. Oh, right, oh, front. right front. Yeah, I saw it blow the finger up. I, I think that was a brake rotor. Are you thinking what? Yeah, and that's why it turned left. I think he that disintegrated the right front brake rotor right as he went to the brakes. You saw it come through the hood, and what did that do? It just turned the car to the left because all it had was left front brake. It turned it dead left. I know that. Patrick went for a wild ride and then got, bam, pounded again by Almarola. Mike, remember Joey Logano complained about his brakes early in the race. Well, he right made Larry. a nice recovery, Larry. Got himself back up here in the top 10 or 12 and was had a pretty good car, it looked like. Boy, this is huge right there. Look at that car come up off the ground. That's a heck of an impact. 
the rear axle almost come out of, the, or the rear end housing almost come out of that car, the 43. Now, Almirola was a good 10 spots behind this. Yeah, he must have thought those cars were going to come down the track. I, I'm not sure what he was thinking. See how. That's big right there, but then what's that? Yeah, that's why wow. Danica jumped out so fast. Look at all the flames. Big, big fire there. All she could see was flames. She knew she needed to get out of that car as soon as she possibly could. Wow. It looked like the 43 it just got super loose, or maybe there were some fluids. Jeff, I saw debris back there. I think Almirola ran under, ran over something that prevented him from turning that car yeah, down the racetrack. You can see track. he was just in a big slide. She's had a frustrating season. She has. And I think when she sees what, I, I don't think Joey did anything wrong. I think he had a mechanical failure oh, that caused this. Vince? The 88 of Dale Earnhardt Jr. has been fighting a vibration throughout part of the night tonight, but when the car has been good, it's been fast. Turn two, a spin. I think it's a 77 of Jones again. Caution. I don't think. Uh, this time he's got damage. The right side, he definitely. I don't think he, I don't know if he does or not, Jeff. A little bit. He got up in that loose stuff down there. I think he, I don't think he hit the wall. No, that was an no, oops. I've done it again. I mean, I saw. Here he comes. Second go right there coming into the turn. High gets in the stage right right here. Uh oh. She just won't stick. Boy, unbelievable. I thought for sure he got contact and it, it he didn't. No. It, it just came around. Maybe maybe he just scuffed the right rear of the bumper, but that was deja vu all over again same, from lap ninety six. Same place. <laughs> Not a lot of grip when all that speedy dry is up there. Like what he said, what did he say? Whoops, I did it again. Yeah, he was already <laughs> loose up there when there was no speedy drive. <laughs> he knew it. Oh, he, he nailed it. He, he just got back into the throttle and it started coming around. Pit road is open. Here's Vince. Clayton Hughes, spotter for Martin Truex. Car to wall, turn one. Corey LaJoy had been having his best career night running in 23rd here. Wow. This is when that pit crew, this is when you find out how, what they're made out of. If they come down pit road, they want to nail one of the 11 second stops, they can win this race. That's when Martin Truex goes, no, not and, now. And Martin Truex doesn't need another bad, he doesn't need a bad stop. Blaney, Harvick, Bush, Johnson, Hamlin, Bush, Keselowski. Oh, boy. Well, I think because the four car was able to get up to the left rear of the 21. Whoa, they're not done. Here goes the 48. Yikes. Kurt Busch and Jimmy Johnson get together. Caution. If, if, if Brian Blaney learned a little something, you can see how he's hanging back. And, and just that little bit of, of, of jump right there gave him just enough to where the four gets sort of to the left rear of the 21 and maybe stalled him out a tiny bit. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, the 11 got the 41. 11 tried him to go in, yeah. three wide in the middle. 11 got the 41, turned him into the 48. Let's look at it from our Goodyear aerial coverage. You see the 11 right here. He uh, gets right into the left rear of the 41. That shoots him in the 48. Yeah, Jim, Jimmy Johnson had no idea he was going to try to make that three wide, close that gap. They all made contact. And here's Denny Hamlin's radio. Yeah, I'll try to get out of it, but 41 can't come down from there. Yeah, that's true. The 41, you know, the 41 blocked him high and then he went to the inside and he tried to block him low. And as at that same time, he got the 11 of Denny Hamlin got his nose in there and then the 48 of Jimmy Johnson started to come up. And I'm not sure if Kyle Busch may have a little nose damage. Did he get in the back of Jimmy Johnson or not? 